This show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Stop putting your online data at risk. Get protected at expressvpn.com slash inside. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to Inside Gaming Daily for Tuesday. Let's talk some more about the next-gen consoles. They're just around the corner, after all. I see you peeking around Series X, and one might be even closer than we thought. And there might be a reason that nobody's talking about prices yet for the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. Some people think that Microsoft and Sony are playing a high-stakes game of chicken, waiting to see who announces first. They are, they're both gamblers by nature. Sitting on the big time riverboat gambling table saying, well, I'm not going to throw my chips down first. Yeah. Not until this. And yeah, PlayStation well, hasn't seen his kids in a year. That's cool. <laughs> they suck. I'm just over there swirling a Swedish fish in his cocktail. Yeah, there's some big time corporate warfare going on here. And as much as everybody talks about cloud gaming being the future, it's clear that both companies want their good old fashioned consoles to just you know, be successful. Can't really yeah. blame them for that. So let's talk release dates first, or more accurately, release months. Yeah, Twitter user Nibel found a Japanese job listing from Sony that indicates the PS5 will launch in October. Hiring QA testers for PS5, which will launch October 10th. Please do not tell anyone. Please Super keep this secret. This would be really cool if y'all could just keep it on the DL. The post mentions that Sony's next-gen console is scheduled to be released in October of 2020. Previously, Sony and Microsoft have both said that their new consoles would launch this holiday season. Historically, that would mean a launch month of November, so obviously October would be a little bit sooner, a uh, month sooner actually, if you're counting. <laughs> that is how the Julian calendar works. <laughs> well, in the grand scheme of things, it's but a drop in, in, in the great pond that humanity is. Everything that we've known about consoles has shown us, uh, historically speaking, that the only difference between a successful console and a failure is one month. Okay, but how much credence do we give this? Eh? Ten. Come on. Uh, ten credence? I think ten. Wow. That's low. Depending on the scale. It yeah, could it's be out very of a high. Million, What's out of a million? Not. Well, still <laughs> ten. <laughs> still ten. Uh, well, Famitsu got in touch with Sony who said that nope. That was just an error. A representative said it was due to a mistake in the recruitment site, not content that was written by our company. Yeah, so maybe we're still looking at November release dates. But now let's talk about the other part of the story, how much the PS5 will cost. Ten. That's obviously a... Oh, wow, Again, that's easy. Ten. Out of? How much money do I have? I only have $40,000 to spend on gaming. That's obviously a huge question on the minds of gamers, especially those of us on a little bit of a budget. You know, no. thin times now. The yeah. minds of gamers. It's a wet, dark place. <laughs> yeah, a new console is a significant investment for most of us. Not us, because we make so much money. <laughs> yeah. We're so wealthy uh, from internet gaming news. And it's not just the base costs either. You've got to add in games, possibly another controller, mm. a Mad Cat's grip for that controller, mm. two headsets. Mm -hmm. bunch of skins gold for rings, the controller. Bunch of skins for the controller. That's right. A yeah. cooling deck that's bigger than your entertainment mm -hmm. cabinet. That's right. Mouse and keyboard that you can plug in. Hulk hands. And if a company sets the initial cost of their console too high, it can be a real problem. Just ask Sony back when it debuted the PS3 at a cost of $600. It was a mm. big mistake. Yeah. We adjust for inflation that was... Even more than that. So that's a lot of money today, and it was definitely a lot of money back in 2006 when Sony announced the cost of their newest console. Yeah, the news even hit mainstream outlets who ran stories asking if those darn video game machines are just too expensive nowadays. And in this economy, which is very strong with a great housing market? In 2017, you paid $300 in a parking lot for a pocket gamer? What? Sony eventually cut the cost of the PS3 and it rebounded, but you know, the damage was done. You come out of the gate that, that, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. When you come out of the gate that high, you I, I'm not even going to riff. Yep, okay. I feel like I got where you were headed, where you were coming yep. from. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And maybe Microsoft is remembering that early stumble by the PS3 because some analysts think that Microsoft is intentionally waiting for Sony to make the first price announcement so they can follow behind and price the Xbox Series X <laughs> and lower. Makes it's the perfect crime. $399. Come on down. This comes from industry analyst Michael Pactor and former EA and Microsoft executive Peter Moore both run a mini podcast, little tiny one, hosted by Jeff Keighley. Factor said that he thinks the Xbox Series X could be as much as $100 cheaper than the PS5. He said, from what I've seen, Sony's gonna have to charge $500 for the PS5, and Microsoft has a big balance sheet. It's like 10 feet tall. Yeah, 10. CVS is <laughs> huge. Yeah. It's 10. Jeff Keighley's reported as saying, Help me! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, well, it's been reported that Sony's had trouble keeping the price of the PS5 down. It's okay, it's a problem that a lot of people struggle with. Mm -hmm. uh, you can take things for it. Last month, Bloomberg quoted developers who've been making games for the PS5, and they think its retail price is going to be more like $499 to $549. Sony's Makes been sense. having trouble on a number of fronts, especially when it comes to keeping costs down. For one, yeah. the PS5's cooling system is reportedly a few dollars per unit, which is more expensive than usual, but Bloomberg said that Sony went with a more expensive option to make sure that overheating isn't an issue. What's cooler than being ice cold? The PS5's multi-dollar costing cooling unit. Yeah, but the biggest problem is the supply of flash memory. Both DRAM and NAND flash memory are in high demand because smartphone companies are making their next-gen devices too. And when Pactor mm -hmm. says Microsoft has a big balance sheet, he means that Microsoft is a much, much bigger company than Sony. So it can afford to take a bigger loss on the Xbox Series X if it wants to, if it's so inclined. Yeah, while Sony may have beaten Microsoft in the console wars this current generation, Microsoft is still Goliath to Sony's David. Sony's market capitalization, aka the value of the company though, is measured at more than $80 billion. Not bad, right? 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 No, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Yeah, well, Microsoft's is yeah. 1.4 trillion. Holy sh with a T. God, now 1.4, that's a lower number than 80, but I'm to understand that that's actually an astronomical amount of money. Yeah, yes, were you to represent it in grains of rice, it would be a much larger pile of rice. Which is the only way Connor can visualize numbers. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have, a, I have a master's in riceonomics. Factor added that if Microsoft wants to cut the price by $100, just price below PS5 and subsidize the first 10 million units, they will. So I think they're waiting to have Sony blink first and then they'll reveal the price. Very likely, $400. That's cool. Mm. That's the kind of power move you can pull when your company is worth $1.4 trillion. Dollarinos. Yeah. Oh, competition's working. That's not really something we see in this day and age. When companies fight, it's good for us. Well, it makes sense that some gamers would go for the $400 console versus the $500 one, especially if they're comparable in power, which they definitely are from everything we've seen so far. We cannot uh, underestimate the value of perceived value, so maybe Sony's trying to be that Apple, you know? They're gonna release the $700 Wii I think with Sony that the value is exclusives. Unless you know? they guild the console. If I was 12 years old, saving up my lawn mowing money, I think I would just mow five more lawns to get Did that extra $20 hundred dollars. Bucks a lawn? In some cases, I didn't start there, but over the years I built yeah. up the goodwill. You picked yourself up by your bootstraps. Yes. I still I still edit on a custom lawnmower rig. <laughs> you come in, you in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you put your coffee down and you're like, morning. <laughs> So yeah, that underpricing is some hardball tactics at work, at least that's what a lot of people think. Peter Moore, the former executive at both EA and Microsoft, agreed with Pactor. He thinks both sides are calculating how much of a loss they can afford to take, at least at first. Yeah, he said what both companies are going through right now is asking how much we can afford to lose in the first 12 to 18 months. What are we willing to do in year one, two, and three to hit 10 million units? And that's not unheard of for a company to sell a console at a bit of a loss, at least at first. The old business model of video games is that you make most of your money from software, not hardware, and companies still make a lot of money from software, but they also want to get you on a subscription service, like Game Pass for Xbox. And of course, that all starts with you owning their console. It's their entry point into your living room. Breach! <laughs> the controlled <laughs> charges, yeah. And that's why the price is so important. More added, Microsoft right now, the stock price, the market cap, everything's flying for them. Does Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella say, this is our opportunity right now, as we did with Xbox 360? Let's get in, let's price it right. 400? 401. Yeah, the next generation is a chance for Microsoft to hit the reset button and put the Xbox One behind them. It famously got off to a slow start, but over the last few years, the division that's led by Phil Spencer has made a lot of consumer-friendly moves and its reputation has rebounded. Microsoft wants to keep that going. Meanwhile, Sony is banking that exclusive games like Spider-Man 2 and the next Horizon Zero Dawn will once again save the day. Uh, and to underscore that point, Sony just rolled out its new umbrella brand called PlayStation Studios. It'll go live later this year along with the PS5 and will include all the games developed and managed by Sony Interactive Entertainment's Worldwide Studios organization. Finally, we have Microsoft Studios and PlayStation Studios. Hell yeah, we can finally make Gran Turismo under a proper name. Yeah, they showed off a new teaser video of the new brand, and it included characters from Uncharted, Little Big Planet, God of War, Ratchet and Clank, Horizon Zero Dawn, and The Last of Us. Ooh, mm. Ooh that's a nice. Yeah. But it's basically just a really easy way to brand all their exclusives. It's like a Marvel <laughs> intro. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see who announces their console's price first, but don't be surprised if Sony goes first, and then Microsoft swoops in a few days later and undercuts them. I mean, hey, if, if we all pay 
pay less for consoles. That's great. That's fine with us. That's competition working for the consumer, us. Even though we are loaded and have buckets of cash. Just not Cameron. Damn right. straight. And hey, before we go, we'd just like to remind you guys that we stream most days of the week to roosterteeth.com, and we also have a new show that goes up exclusively on Rooster Teeth every Sunday morning. You can check out our schedule linked in the description below or on our Twitter account. We have, we have, we're streaming today. In fact, if you're watching this right now, there's probably we're probably streaming as we, as you, we speak. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Inside Gaming Daily for Thursday. It's another rendition of This Sucks Thursday, our most hallowed ground, a holy day for Inside oh. Gaming. This is they suck us. Let's talk about the Xbox Series X and a big event held for it today. Yes, that lovely old console that kind of looks like a PC tower. 